Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Overall, the next seven days are looking fairly active as we thankfully get warmer, but we do have uh, multiple rounds of showers and storms. But thankfully, right in the middle of that, uh, we've got the sandwich of our Eclipse Monday that looks to stay not only dry, but mostly cloud-free. Uh, we'll have an updated look at Future Tracker to show kind of the cloud cover, what we're expecting for the Eclipse on Monday afternoon. But a few showers and storms tomorrow evening, and then better chances as we go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. But outside right now, not only are we uh, dry, free from any rain or precipitation we are relatively cloud free as well you can see some of the stars there looking out towards the west from our austin homes tower camera down in muhlenberg county just north of central city and a beautiful scene there the blue bridge lit up this evening as well from our bill morgan roofing and construction tower camera a quiet and calm ohio river but it is a little higher we'll show you the river levels here in a moment as well, but outside right now, 50 degrees on the dot at the Evansville Regional Airport. Many other locations now down into the mid to upper 50, or 40s, rather. 46 Princeton, Jasper coming in at 47, 49 right now in Santa Claus, another 50 there in Tell City, 45 in Beaver Dam and Greenville up to the northwest. Also uh, one of the cooler spots, Carmi at 45 and Fairfield coming in at 48 degrees. We won't have any rain to contend with for the first half of tomorrow. No rain right now. That's just the sensitivity of the rain radar uh, up in Gibson County turned up a little bit. So false returns around the radar site. Again, some flood warnings there for the uh, Ohio and uh, White River as well. I'm going to crest up near uh, Petersburg at about 18 feet. That's about a foot or so above flood stage. So that's something that we'll have to keep an eye on as well as we have more rounds of showers and storms that could drop some heavy rain over the course of several days next week that could aggravate the already high river. So that's something we'll be watching as well as we head into the middle to latter half of next week. But again, we are cloud free right now. We're we're staying clear, and that's going to be the case through most of tonight. But I think by anywhere from about 4 or 5 a.m., we're going to see the clouds moving in from the west, and it's all associated with this low pressure system that's going to give us those chances of showers and storms. Now, the showers and storms that we see right now kind of spinning like a top on the leading edge of that low pressure, that's going to fade away here as we go later on uh, during the overnight hours and then try to redevelop during tomorrow. Now, there are some ingredients for severe weather. It's a low risk. No, but some uncertainty in terms of uh, how much moisture will be in the atmosphere to kind of fuel the storms for tomorrow. So keeping that as a marginal level one threat for most of the tri-state, with the exception of our far eastern counties. But here's an updated future tracker to time out that chance for some strong to isolated severe storms tomorrow. It's going to be in a broken fashion. Again, we'll have the clouds to get in with early. As I mentioned, a lot of people will likely be outside for tomorrow, of course, on Monday as well, but no issues there. Uh, but for tomorrow, a lot of festivities across the tri-state, so may want to have the rain here handy as well and also keep an eye to the sky if there's any uh, thunder or lightning even if we're not severe and that can pose a hazard as well just something to keep in mind and prepare to seek shelter and let the storms pass but here we are by six o'clock tomorrow evening bulk of that activity somewhat broken but right on top of the tri-state anywhere in that line it could have some isolated damaging wind gusts maybe some hail can't rule out if things get going an isolated spin-up tornado keep in mind it's going to be nothing like what we had on tuesday morning or tuesday afternoon again a very low threat but the rain moves out of here by about midnight to 1 a.m. And then the clouds, they'll be with us early Monday morning. But watch the clock here, 1230. I think that's when we'll start to get to maybe a few thinner clouds that could briefly cover up the sun. I don't think it's going to be enough to really prevent us from seeing the partial phase. Here we are at 2 o'clock, right over totality. And again, a few areas of cloud cover, but quite a bit of sunshine for most of the tri-state, uh, especially under that path that, again, just kind of cuts right through the heart of the tri-state uh, for most of us. And again, about three to uh, three plus minutes give or take of a uh, totality for Monday, Monday afternoon. Then as we go into Monday night, so we get the clouds to increase once again. Rain increases Monday night and early Tuesday morning and then continuing through the day, although Future Tracker kind of keeps the bulk of the rain on Tuesday down to the south. Other guidance gives us basically a washout for our Tuesday and again on Wednesday as well. But there's a look at that marginal level one for uh, basically areas except our eastern counties along the US 231 corridor. The rain again starts to pick up, especially on Wednesday. I think that's our best chance of pretty much all day showers and storms and at least the first half of Thursday looking like a soggy day uh, as well and then drying out but very pleasant for the end of the week and for the start of next weekend.